wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow And the old ways get washed out by the rain another daily vlog because we love filming these and we know that you guys love to watch these too. Do you want to say hi Tom? Hi chap. <laughs> so it is currently Saturday morning so happy Saturday and we have decided to treat ourselves to a McDonald's breakfast so that's where we're Cheat heading. Cheat McDonald's breakfast day. That's where we're heading to now. We only usually really go for McDonald's breakfast when we're on like a road trip don't we? But <laughs> yeah. we haven't been on road trips in so long so we were like so, right uh, we're going. Why not? Let's just go for it. Me and Tom are trying to actually be really healthy at the minute. I think I've, I've spoken about this loads of times recently, but Saturday is our treat day. So Hello. treating ourselves to a McDonald's breakfast. It is absolutely freezing in It is bed. actually minus one degree. Minus outside. one, and look at the weather. Absolutely chucking it down, but I actually quite like this weather, especially when you don't have to do anything. Yeah, when you're you can like be plan. inside and you're just cosy and chilling out. But yeah, heading to McDonald's to get some breakfast. Got the goods. I got, we both got sausage and egg McMuffin meal. Do you know what? I've never ever ever tried the pancakes at McDonald's, have you? No, I haven't. Everybody raves about them. I actually let got us... my protein pancakes from last week. Yeah, you I have. Eaten. I'll have them tomorrow. Um, and let us know in the have comments below if you've ever tried the um, pancakes at McDonald's because I haven't. Oh, and on the protein pancakes as well, I actually tried mine this week and they were really nice, but I did put that chocolate spread that we showed you in last week's vlog. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link the vlog in the description box down below. Um, but we basically got some protein pancakes. Oh, <laughs> what happened there? We basically got some protein pancakes and then some low sugar chocolate spread, skinny chocolate spread or something. Um, and they were lovely, but I don't think I put enough chocolate spread on and they're a little bit dry. But yeah. We're going to enjoy our McDonald's. Nice way to start the day. Yeah, definitely. So we're just coming out of McDonald's and as you can see, McDonald's is, well, I don't know if you can see, but it's over there. And they've just knocked this down here. That you can see their work. It was an old it. fish and chip restaurant type yeah. thing. Is it called Harp Harpers uh, and Chips? Um, I don't know. You've probably all looked You've probably all heard of it before, but basically that was a fish and chip restaurant. It was really nice actually, but they've knocked it down. And apparently, word on the street, I don't know if definite, but apparently that's going to be turned into a KFC and a drive through Costa. What, so, like, the, won't the KFC be drive through? I'm presuming so. I don't know. Drive through KFC and drive through Costa. I mean, I'd have preferred it to be Starbucks, but I'm not fussy. I'm just grateful to have a drive through coffee. I just, I'm situation. happy about KFC. And KFC, yeah, so I think that'll actually be loads better. So fingers crossed that's actually true. So we've just got back. Whilst we were at McDonald's, I did just nip into Morrison's just to get a few bits because I actually want to do some baking this afternoon. I want to bake the cookie bars. I saw them on Ellie's and Gemma's vlogs and they looked so, so nice. I'm going to make the mini egg cookie bars, which I'm really excited for because they look so yummy. Also, whilst I was in there, the only other really substantial thing I got, the rest was like toothpaste and nibble bits for tonight. The only other thing I got was this candle, which I think I've spoken about before. This is the candle that I usually have on my coffee table on the books. It's just from Morrison's, obviously, and it looks like this. And I just have it like that. Um, but it smells lovely. It's pomegranate and wild fig, and they cost £8, and it lasts for ages, so... I just picked up another one of them because the one we're currently using from Home Sense has run out, so I needed to get a new one. Like for the past few days, when we've been watching telly on a night, I haven't been able to light my candle because it's gone. So I needed to get one because it just doesn't feel right when you're all cozied up on a night watching telly and you haven't got a candle lit. It just doesn't feel right. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go do some baking. I'm actually gonna do it now. I fancy doing it. I feel in the mood, so let's go do it now. Okay, so I've got all of the ingredients here and I've got the recipe on my phone. 
Um, so I will just sort of talk you through the things that you'll need, but I will pop the full recipe in the description box down below as well, just in case you fancy making them. If you do decide to make them, don't forget to tag in the pictures because I love seeing stuff like that. Okay, so what you're gonna need is some plain flour, you need some bicarbonate of soda, you're gonna need some salt, you are gonna need some corn flour, some granulated sugar, some light brown sugar, some eggs, when I say some you need one egg, some vanilla extract, unsalted butter, and then whatever you've decided to put in it. So we've gone for mini eggs and chocolate chunks. So that is all the ingredients you'll need. And then I'm gonna put it in this tray. My friend actually left this tray here when she baked brownies, when she came round, so thanks for the tray M, because I don't actually own one of these. I definitely need to get one. I'm hoping it's deep enough but we're just gonna go with it and hope for the best. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me like once it's all ready to go in and then like i said i've just got my tray and i'm gonna put some baking paper in and then just pour all of that into my tray there we go so the tray is quite big so i've just sort of done half because i want it to be quite thick um i suppose if you wanted to make more then you just make double the ingredients but i think that'll be enough for us and then we have got the oven on 170 i think it's 190 or 170 fan so we've put that on fan, 170. I'm gonna pop this in now. It does say 18 to 22 minutes. So I'm gonna pop it in for around 15, 16 minutes, take it out, check on it, and then we'll just sort of go from there because I do want it to be a little bit gooey. So this is what it looks like. I ended up leaving it in for 17 minutes. Um, I took it out at 15 and it just didn't look right. So I put it in for a couple more and then I've left it to cool for about 15 minutes. And then now I am gonna put it on a wired tray, it says. So I'm just gonna leave it to cool for even longer and then we can do a taste test. So it is a little bit later on now and the cookie bar is well and truly cool. We wanted to well leave it for as truly. sort of long as possible just so it didn't break. I feel like I, I poked one earlier and it was a bit like soft and now they've gone like real I did, nice. I did like purposely nice though, leave them, like I took them out. To I took them out a little bit early so they were a bit soft inside. So hopefully yeah. they're like not too hard inside, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've never I'm... made these before ever by the way, so I, I think, don't know what they're gonna taste like. I think it's me that holds you back when baking. Really? Because when we bake together, it turns out horrendous. And for then those I just leave you to it. For and those you of you that have seen our, t our baking videos, honestly, usually I'm the embarrassing one. It's because I can't bake to save my life, so I don't um, think it's just you. I think it's me as well. I think when I put my mind to it and actually really mm. focus and follow something, I'm alright. Got a texture on that. Looks right. fantastic. I'm gonna. I've gone I'm just this gonna have piece. a little bit because I'm not actually that hungry. Mm. And I'm gonna go for this. All of this deliciousnessness. Ready? Taste test. One, chin, chin. two, three. Mmm. 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 That's really nice. The mini eggs are still melted. Mm. That is soft inside, isn't it? That is so soft. It tastes a bit like cookie dough. It does actually. It tastes really, really good. No, it should be really good, like warmed up with ice cream. Mm. That is really good. Really rate them. Um, you can put whatever you want inside them as well. So I've seen people put like loads of Kinder Bueno. You could do chocolate orange, just like loads of stuff you could do. We went for mini eggs, but we didn't. Well, I did, but. Next time I might try it with like white chocolate. You're like that is so bounce, good. So. I am broken. Do you actually like that? Mm. Out of 10, what would you say? 10. 
really? It's all good. I'm gonna hand down say that's probably the the best thing I've ever baked. Mm. Mm hmm. You've done some good baking in the past, but that is up there for sure. That's really good. Mm. I will leave the recipe in the description box down below so in case you fancy having a go. But yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend trying them. As would I. So I'm just about to go and clean my beauty blenders. I see so many different ways online of cleaning beauty blenders, but I've always just done it one way. How do you all clean yours? Let me know down below because I'm intrigued to know. Whew, how am I out of breath when I was walking down the stairs? Give myself a minute. Yeah, so the way I usually do them is just put them in the washing machine on the highest wash. I'll show you now because I'm going to do them. Um, but you can see how mucky they are. This one's not as bad, but them ones are filthy. But yeah, just put it in the washing machine, highest heat, and they literally come out brand new, so, so clean. So I will show you now. But I've seen online like people put them in hot water and in the microwave or something. And I know some people wash them just like how you'd wash your brushes. So many different ways, but I just find this the quickest and easiest. So I'm going to show you because I think it's a game changer. You don't really have to do anything. You literally put it in and then just wait for the wash to be finished. So I'm going to put them in now and I'm going to put them on a 60. I know I said I put them on the highest. I could put them on 90, but I usually do put them on 60, sorry. So I'll put them in now, and then I'll show you them when they come out. But let me just show you sort of what they look like. So that's just like an example. They're filthy. Wait until you see what they come out like. Right, I've put them in, and I've just put a washing capsule in, and then also some fabric conditioner, just like you do with a normal wash. And they're going to be on for about an hour. Whilst they're in the wash, I really, really, really fancy watching the Lizzie McGuire movie. Has anyone ever seen that? I used to be obsessed when I was younger and we were looking through Disney Plus the other day and I saw that the Lizzie McGuire movie was on there so I think I might watch that. I feel like I'm going to be sat here like reminiscing of all the days but I absolutely love Lizzie McGuire. When I was younger I used to be obsessed with the Disney Channel. I used to love Hannah Montana, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I used to love That's So Raven. What else was there? Um. Um. Wizard of Waverly Place, was that on there? What else was on Disney Channel? Cory in the White House? And then I also loved, was it Nickelodeon? I loved Zoe 101, H2O, Drake and Josh, iCarly. Loved those programmes when I was younger. And Disney Plus has them all. Obviously not the Nickelodeon ones, but it has all like Hannah Montana, That's So Raven, everything like that. There she is, holding on. I'm gonna be your number one Get that feeling To believe in Want it to be I've got Sorry, but I absolutely loved watching that film. It's put me in such a good mood. Now I remember why I used to love Lizzie McGuire and why that was one of my favourite films. Actually, it probably still is one of my favourite films. I'm probably going to watch that and repeat now. For anybody who used to watch Lizzie McGuire, Hannah Montana, them types of programmes, I highly, highly, highly recommend watching that. It is absolutely amazing i fell on top of the world right now so my beauty blenders have just come out the wash and this is what they've turned out like obviously they're still a little bit stained but they're literally like new and they smell amazing so i would highly 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 recommend if you do want to wash your beauty blenders just pop them in the washing machine i probably could have put these on a 90 to be fair it might have got the stains out a little bit more and um, but just put them on a really really high wash they smell amazing and they come back so, so clean. Tom has just gone to get us a takeaway, which I cannot wait for. He should be back any time. Oh. He's back, speaking of the devil. Also, I've got a new friend in the last hour and it's right under my skin and it's really sore. I had a little nap, like a power nap. Does it smell nice? What? Back. Does it smell good? It smells fantastic. Mmm. Yeah, who's back? Oh, Pepe yeah. Verde. Pepe Verde. 
Definitely not from Pepe Verde, Whatever babe. Whatever it is, it mm -mm. smells good. It smells good. Oh, look mm -mm. at that. We got two. Oh, yeah, it does. We got two garlic breads. Cheese and tomato garlic breads. They're breads. like proper Italian garlic breads from like an Italian restaurant. And then we got two cheesy chips. Let me show you them. Le portion of cheese and chips. Ooh, oh, yeah. just a box of cheesy chips. No, no. Is this what? <gasps> yeah, mm -hmm. man, look at all that mm -hmm. grease up there. Pop it on my. I nearly said pizza then, but <laughs> drop it on my garlic bread. The only thing is, with this, because it's like a proper Italian restaurant, they don't cut anything. Because in Italy, they don't cut pizzas or anything. Really? Like that. Yeah, because apparently it loses flavour. So oh. they don't cut anything. So, good job. We have le pizza cutter. Oh, will you do mine as well, please? Gracias. Can't wait to talk into that. Good morning. It's now the next day. It's now Sunday. It's half past nine in the morning. Um, and we are just on our way to Tesco's to get some milk because we can't function without coffee. I drink black coffee, but you need some milk with yours. Definitely don't you? need milk. So we're just on our way to Tesco's to get that. And then we're going to go home, obviously drop the milk off, and then we're going to head out for a walk. We like to get up early and go for a walk, don't we? Yeah, we do, yeah. Um, we just sort of chilled out really. We had a bath, had loads of nibbles and stuff, didn't we? We had a nice takeaway, which we showed you, I think, last night anyways. Yeah, we did. Um, and then we chilled out and watched Avatar. Now, I absolutely loved it, did you? Avatar is actually such a good film. Like, I'm not even joking. It, it's up there with one of the best. You've said to watch it a few times and I've never really wanted to, but I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. It is a three hour film, but it's 100% worth it. What we're trying to basically do, as you all know, we're going to Disney World, Florida. Is it called Disney World, Florida? Disney World, yeah. Disney World this year. Um, and we've been, I've been a few times, but every time I go, like there's, for example, a massive sort of part of one of the parks on Avatar, isn't there? And it's huge, it's called Pandora, Pandora. Land. And every time I've been, I've been like, oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. And I've loved it, but I've never watched the film, so I want to understand. You you've know, never when truly, I'm... you've never truly understood what and why what the land of Pandora actually is until yeah. that night, did you? Yeah, I've been like, wow, but I've never really known what it was. I just thought it looked amazing. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to watch the Avatar films so that I really understood when I was on the ride and stuff. I basically just understood more about what it was, um, and I'm more trying about to do flying a banshee. Yeah, and I'm trying to do that with like loads of Disney films where there's big attractions at Disney World. You know, does that make sense? It does, yeah. So like any any ride that there is where it's quite a big attraction and we haven't seen the film, we're gonna try and yeah. blast them out before we go. Yeah, but definitely, definitely recommend Avatar if you haven't already seen it. Also, this morning, Tommy tried the protein pancakes, didn't you, Tom? I did try the protein pancakes. I loved the protein pancakes. Did you actually really like them? I actually loved them. I thought they were actually amazing. Um, did you get what I meant when I said they were quite dry? Yeah, they were, they were really dry, but if you have a drink with them and smother them in chocolate spread like I did, skinny chocolate spread like I did, yeah. then um, they're fine. Yeah, they're, de they're definitely worth I think they're like 233 calories for two mini pancakes, which isn't bad. It's nice for a Then obviously add your chocolate spread on, it's probably like 100 and something. But it's just a it's a lower calorie alternative, so yeah. We, we and if you're into the gym, they are protein pancakes, so. Yeah, so we would recommend them. So, like I say, yeah, we are just on our way to Tesco's, we're then going to sort of go home, drop that off and go for a nice walk. And then we're not really doing much more today, we're probably gonna just sort anything. of going to chill out. So I think that is going to go ahead and end this week's vlog. Yep. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. If you are a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new to the channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. And we shall see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.